Hi, I'm Lars Klint and you're watching Azure This Week. This week I'll dive a bit deeper into the Microsoft Security Step Up and there are a bunch of Microsoft events that you might want to check out. Way back in 2019, Microsoft announced they were shutting down basic authentication for a bunch of Exchange services, including EAS, POP, IMAP, RPS, and FFS from October 2020. Then a year later, they said from 1st of October 2022, basic auth on SMTP would get the ax too. So two questions come up from these announcements. One, what is basic authentication? And was it bad? And two, what does this mean for your organization that is still using basic auth? And three, what happens to your exchange infrastructure if you don't update your authentication protocols? Yeah, I just thought of that third one. Anyway, basic authentication is essentially username and password. This is passed through an authentication header in the web request using nothing but base64 encoding. It isn't very secure and was invented in 1993, so not exactly an era of strong security on the web. Or any security, for that matter. It's also not compatible with multi-factor authentication natively, which is the modern baseline for web authentication. Okay, so question number two. If your organization is still using basic auth, you have some work to do. Chances are that one of you, you, know, one of you watching this is using basic auth. No, no, not you, you're, you're okay, but you up the back, pay attention. Mm. If you care about your users, you need to move away from basic auth. And in the case of Microsoft Exchange, Microsoft is making that decision for you. And I quote, sometime in second and third quarters of 2022, we will selectively pick tenants and disable basic auth for all affected protocols except SMTP auth for a period of 12 to 48 hours. After this time, basic auth for those protocols will be re-enabled if the tenant admin has not already re-enabled them using our self-service tools. In other words, your Outlook service will start working. Now you may have noticed we are well into Q3 of 2022, so from the 1st of October, Microsoft will start permanently disabling basic auth on tenants. That's how much they don't want you to use basic auth. And that brings me to question number Three, out of the estimated 400 million Outlook users worldwide, I'm guessing not all are going to be ready for the switch off. And if you are still using basic auth, your emails will just stop working. Despite more than three years of notifications and warnings and messages and much more, some customers are still unaware this change is coming. There are also many customers aware of the deadline who simply haven't done the necessary work to avoid an outage, as Microsoft puts it. Now the solution is to upgrade to modern authentication, which is a, like a paella of security measures such as multi-factor authentication, context awareness, zero trust approaches, and a whole lot more. So do it. Go. Fix. Now have you ever heard the best things in life are free? It's true. And one of those free things right up until the end of the year is certification prep. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, you can access free certification courses on a Cloud Guru or Pluralsight skills taught by experts and me. Now you get weekly study guides with curated learning programs and resources, all to help you prepare to get certified. One of those courses is the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals taught by me. But there's also courses for AWS, Google Cloud, Terraform, or Kubernetes certifications. I know. Doesn't that make you happy? Well, it makes me happy just telling you about it. I know. All right, some Azure events and some dancing. From the 12th and 14th of October, Microsoft Ignite is back. This main event of the year for everything Microsoft is where you get both the latest from Azure and the rest of the Microsoft universe, but also technical sessions on how to use the many services even better. This year is a bit different, with an in-person part taking place in Seattle, a virtual part for everywhere with an internet connection, and then six localized Ignite spotlights, which are smaller events in China, France, Germany, Japan, Latin America, and the UK. I'll be there, virtually, to present a session on building robust cloud applications in Azure, and Pluralsight will be there as a sponsor for the event. So check it out and register today. Now coming up real soon from 20 to 22 September is the first annual Power Platform Conference. 
takes place in Orlando, Florida, and it's all about Power BI, Power Apps, Power Pages, and Power Rangers. It is all about cloud as well, with the added power of, well, everything. That's all I have for this week. Let me know in the comments if you are affected by the basic auth switch off and what you're doing about it. Also, are you going to be at Ignite? Now next week, it's me again. So I'll see you then. Keep being awesome, cloud gurus. Keep being cloud happy, cloud gurus and stuff. <laughs>